Today I'm going to um, just take a look at the uh, ways to change your flow rate and I, I'm just demonstrating today these valves and these are some simple little valves and I should probably just unhook uh, this camera and go a little closer and show you. Um, but there, you can get these at the hardware store and I, I got this one at Lowe's and it just turns you know, turns it completely off. You can use it as a shut off, or it can turn it on completely or somewhere in between, and it can control the flow rate. This one I like better, and I'm not entirely sure where that came from. So, um, you know, it's 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 real easier to turn now. But those are what we're going to be going to be using today to um, control the flow rate of these two ionizers. Normally I would not be able to do two ionizers together with the identical flow rate um, if they didn't have flow control knobs uh, when I'm testing. Because if I'm relying on one water source uh, and, and if I didn't have those valves, I just wouldn't be able to control each line I'd be able to control the water coming in, but not each line going into each ionizer. And each ionizer will will take more of more or less of the water. And so you, you need that fine tuning control. Alright, well I'm just going to now kind of um, show you what the difference is when you change and vary the con the flow rate of your ionizer. So I'm um, going to go ahead and start the flow and I'm gonna, I, I want to get these regulated because I'm comparing the two ionizers too. Try to do a, a fair comparison. Power on. Yuki water. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do some acidic water on both of them now just to get us started. Okay. All right, so here are the different water thickets that are flowing out. Let me go ahead and collect some water and see uh, what the whether they're flowing the same rate or not. All right, so on the right is Italian, on the left is Magic. That's that's pretty close. Um, I'll probably <laughs> uh, increase time a teeny tiny bit. I remember which one is ten, or maybe I'll decrease the magic a little tiny bit. All right. Well, let's try it again. Okay. Oh. Okay. Didn't do that good. All right, hold on. So this one's trying it. Let's slow that one down a little bit. All right, well, sometimes it takes a while to get these things to be equal. Oh, that's, that's pretty equal. Okay, that's great. All right, so that flow rate there is, um, let's, let's just pour one more time. Alright. Alright. Oh. Giant was a little faster. I guess that let me just adjust this a little bit more. Uh just slow down and I just shoot my chat. Oops, too much. Alright, well we'll try again. I had it perfect. I should have just kept it that way. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so this one was the tie-in. I'm going to stick that one on the left. And this one was the magic. Alright, now I'm going to just show you speeding up the flow rate really, really fast. So 
so I've got those spigots about open as far as they can go. Let's see if we've got them equal. Uh, let's see, the magic is too fast. Hold on. Throw that one down a little bit. Still a little bit faster. I'm trying to speed the time up a little bit. Nope, that's going as fast as it can. Oh, okay. mm. Well, that man is still a little tiny bit faster than I'm trying. It's kind of a little bit nitpicky sometimes. Alright. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so this one was the tie -in. It goes on the left, and the magic goes on the right. Now, let's see if I can figure out mm, mm, the slowest flow rate possible. This is medium, faster, and slower. And then it, well, I couldn't vary, vary the flow rate that drastically much, but I did vary it. And we'll see. I know some people are in a hurry and they want to get that real fast water, and let's see what they're going to get out of these two ionizers if they do that. And sometimes, you know, people will come in. Um, wanting, uh, no, wait a minute. 